Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So yep, you God. Of 150 countries, we rank 142nd. Tell us why this administration is coming in closer to last. We wish we didn't have this unprecedented coronavirus pandemic, but people do die in pandemics. And our job, our mission, what gets me up every morning and what motivates the 83,000 dedicated people of HHS is the chance every day to make advances that help save some of those lives. So people die, we try to minimize that, we try to mitigate human suffering. Do you think that the president's rallies that he has gone to where people are not social distancing the six feet that our experts tell us they should be doing or wearing masks, does that contribute to the increase? So we have consistent advice, which is to practice the three W's for all individuals. Wash your hands, watch your distance, wear face coverings, avoid settings where you can't, and that applies to any setting. Have, no, you, have you ever interacted with the president about him being a possible role model in this country? I'm not going to discuss my discussions with the president, but the president's guidelines since April have said wear face coverings, wash your hands, wear face coverings, practice social distancing. That's Mr. Secretary, the are you proud of the job that you have done? I don't like to speak in those terms. 206,000 people have died. And you come here today and testify with this paltry testimony that you're giving us, and you expect us to be happy. We're very unhappy about what's going on. I'm happy to do that if you would actually ask questions that elicit on that point. Here I join my colleagues in wishing the president, the first lady, his family, and the White House staff a speedy recovery. The news that we have watched unfold this morning underscores the importance of testing asymptomatic individuals who may have been exposed to the coronavirus. We do not know who exposed the president to the virus or who he has or he, who he may have exposed, but it's imperative that everyone who has come in contact with him get tested. On August 22nd, President Trump insinuated that the government scientists who work for you are trying to delay the approval of a vaccine. Do the scientists that work for you over at HHS represent a deep state dedicated to politically sabotaging the president? Uh, our, our people at HHS are dedicated to the American people. I don't reuse terms like deep state. Do you understand how demoralizing it is when you, when the president makes statements like this about the scientists and then you do not stand up and confront the president for his, for his uh, demeaning of their, of their motives? It's important that we have confidence in the work of FDA. I support our scientists, I support our career officials, and I support our agencies. Director of the CDC, Robert Redfield, said that this is the most important, powerful public health tool that we have, encouraging everyone to wear a mask. But the president attacked Dr. Redfield for that. President Trump said there's a lot of problem with masks and maybe they're not so good. He's mocked people who wear masks. In fact, he mocked uh, Vice President Biden at the debate for wearing a mask. He said, every time you see him, he's got a mask. He shows up with the biggest mask you ever saw. Um, do you agree with the president that there are a lot of problems with masks or do you agree with the CDC director that this is a powerful and necessary public health tool? Uh, I've been very clear ever since our scientists rec began recommending mask wearing, uh, especially in April in the reopening guidance that the president published, that mask wearing is an important public health tool. What is your reaction to the fact that the first family that was sitting at the political debate, presidential debate, were not wearing masks? So Does our, that make your job more difficult? Our recommendations are always to wash your hands, watch your distance, wear a face covering when you can't engage in social distance, and avoid settings where you can't do those three things. Now, the first family and the protective aspect around the president is a different situation than the rest of us because of the protocols around no, the, no, the no, first no, family. No, 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 sir. But our recommendations Reclaiming my time. Clear. Reclaiming my time. It would send the wrong message to the American people, that the first family, despite the fact that officials from the university went to them and asked them to follow the rules that they were sitting there, were not wearing the mask. That's the point. 